All right, welcome back everybody to another simple tutorial. In this one, we are going to be going over Beam NP, which is a multiplayer mod for Beam NG, which if you have not played that game, strongly suggest it if you're into automotive and uh, real physics. It is a terrific game. Now, they've come out with a really cool multiplayer mod for this game. Uh, if you head over to the beammp.com website, you can download the client from there. This will allow you to be able to actually play the game. You can also download the server files from here as well if you plan on setting it up. Uh, we will not be going over that in this episode or in, that, in this tutorial. We will just be going over the client and kind of getting that installed, doing a few settings to make sure everything works good. And then uh, at the end of it, we will hop in and kind of play around. First things first is you need to head over to beammp.com. You will download the client, um, which will be the uh, beammp installer.zip. Once when you download it, open up that folder, and then you will unzip all the files that are into it into a place that you want. And you will get this folder, which will be beammp installer. Open that up, and you will have the beammp installer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I already have it installed. So we'll just run through this again. We'll go English. Yep, I accept the grants. We will create a desktop shortcut and then hit next. And it will say ready to install. You install it and it will all be done. Once when it's installed in order to play it, what you need to do is actually launch. You'll have a desktop shortcut and we'll put it here right in the middle. And this is the Beam MP launcher. So you open up this and this will Find the game, launch it, and then actually launch your BeamNG drive or your BeamNG drive game from this program. So this is what you have to do in order to actually play the multiplayer. So if you are a individual that plays on Steam, and let's say you have a remote control, uh, in order for the remote control uh, to work properly. Uh, in the Beam MP, you need to actually launch Beam MP from your Steam program. So if you come down here to Add Game, right off of the right off of the main site, so you just go Add Game, add a non-Steam game. We'll click that. It'll look through kind of all the uh, games that you have. You can go into Browse if you don't find what you have. You know if it's not listed on here, you can go browse and then find out you know where that game is if you have it on the desktop like I do I can just go to desktop go BMMP launcher go open and then that'll add it to the list and then you can actually launch it from your steam um, you know from your steam main page uh, this is critical if you want to have like all of your settings saved if you have like your controller set up a specific way without further ado let's hop into it and we'll kind of get started in the beam mp world all right so there's one thing that i almost forgot so in order to play beam mp you need to kind of um you need to sign up for the forum on the beam mp website uh, that's really easy to do so right off of the main page right here if you come up to forum once you're in here it would ask you to register and so you would create an account set up your username your password all that uh, once when you go through all the setup process, you then will have a login info, uh, login account that you will be able to use in the Beam MP uh, mod program. So make sure that you uh, you set up an account on here before you start loading up the game. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go into Beam MP and uh, let's play around in there for a little bit. All right, so we are in the Beam NG dot drive game. So It'll look very similar, but you'll notice we have this little thing in here, which is the multiplayer option. So we will click on that, and the first time you load in, it'll ask you for your login information. Uh, if you had already set up your um, account, go into the forum, you'll just type in that same information. If you've reached this part of the video and you haven't, make sure that you go back to the beammp.com website, click on the forum, Make sure that you create an account and that you get signed in and then return back to the multiplayer option here using that login information. 
and you will then be able to actually get into this uh, really cool kind of server listing of all the game or of all the uh, servers that you can uh, that you can join. So over here on the left side, you're gonna have public servers, your official servers. Um, you you will have your favorites, any ones that you tend to you know that you really want to go to that you really really like. Uh, you also have your recents and then your direct connects. So if you have a connection from somebody, I, I, I don't know what this is, but eh, whatever. Um, if you have a specific IP, you know, for one of your buddy's uh, computers that you want to actually hop into, you can type in all that information here. Uh, this is really good for like unlisting your server if you don't want just a bunch of random people uh, logging into it. So what we will do is I will go into one of the, uh, I don't know if my favorites is going to show up. That's fine. We'll go into one of the recent ones. So this is one that I've been enjoying quite a bit. It's a, uh, what they call the CARP test server. It's a, like a role play type server. Um, you do actually have a full economy. It's got the capitalism mod in it. It has real missions that you can do. Uh, it's a really fun one. So for what we'll do is we'll just hop in and kind of play around. There's actually 10 people on this server. Let's uh, get connected to it and let's hop in. All right, and just like that, we are in the server. Uh, now, just like most multiplayer games, you have an area down here that you can you can talk to, you can chat and type, you know, scroll down, see what everybody's talking about. There's ways to, you know, uh, add friends. Now each server can be a little different on what you can do and can't do in it. One thing that you will notice with the Beam NG uh, multiplayer is you will have these updates. So if we drive around a little bit, now how I have my game set up is anything over like four miles an hour, uh, I will not be automatically updated to other people's things. So if we drive around and like, let's say somebody makes a change, like, I don't know, they add, they add something to their car. There will be a thing that'll pop up here where it has the ping 76 and it'll say a queue. It'll say like, you know, one queued up or one event queued up. That is just an update that the game has to do so you know exactly what that person has, what their vehicle looks like and all that. Um, there's settings that you can play around with in the multiplayer to adjust that to where it's like, hey, you know what, I don't want any events queued just like this, how that one popped up. Like, I don't want any events queued or no automatic updating of the queue. I only I want to update it when I say I'm going to update it. Or you can have it how mine is, that if I come here and I stop and I go less than four miles an hour, it'll wait about four and a half, five seconds, and then it will automatically queue up. So once when this drops, all of a sudden you will get a little bit of a lag. So you can see I paused for a quick second and then it started to move. There are a bunch of different options in the multiplayer that you can play around with. So here's that Q speed, the Q apply, time, uh, apply timeout, um, enable vehicle update and editing queuing. You can disable that if you just don't want to see any updates. Um, enable auto part sync and so on and so forth. Uh, if you, if somebody makes a change and you have not had it updated, you'll see like this little orange or gray ball driving around. That is that person, but because you are not updated to it, um, it won't show what they actually have and what they've done. Uh, so if you ever drive around and that's kind of what you see, that's what that is. And all you have to do is you can stop, or even while you drive, you can just come up here and press it, and it'll automatically queue it at that same time. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial uh, useful. If you have any questions, you know, mention that down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a update to this. And uh, keep an eye out for a future episode where we uh, actually go into maybe um, setting up a server and what that looks like. I haven't played around with that too much, so give me a little bit of time and I'll work on doing that in the near future, all right? So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Um, you know, subscribe if you want to see more. I greatly appreciate everything that you guys do. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you all in the upcoming uh, tutorials, all right? So take it easy, everybody, and make sure you all keep it simple, all right? Bye.